Hey everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today is a craft with me video. And I thought I would just bring you along with what I was in the middle of. I am decorating a journal. I wanted to try a themed journal and something I hadn't done before. So the first thing that popped into my head, strangely enough, was koalas. And I've never done a koala journal. And I thought, why not? It's not like I really had a bunch of supplies or anything, but I just decided to start. I'll show you what I've got going, and then we're just going to pick up where I left off and see how much of this we can decorate. And also, it will be for sale in my shop in Lindsay's Handmade. And you can click on the link in the description box if you're interested in that. I chose a silver swirled wallpaper, and I've stitched it some scrapbook paper, a beautiful koala image. I put together a, an easy print sheet of koalas and I've uploaded those to my Creative Fabrica fans page. It's kind of like a Patreon for crafters. So if you wanna support me and get extra goodies for free and tips and tricks and things like that, I would suggest you go over there. I have a whole bunch of freebies and this I put over there after I created it. Some beautiful flowers. I have lined it with some gorgeous fabric. I really wanted to pull out some pretty colors and not just have the whole journal be neutral. So I've just started out with some simple decorating. I have some pages here. These are from Modern Maiden Image Club, but they're little Australian um, animals. I've also, I've used more Modern Maiden. I've stenciled over this koala card, guest check stamping. Joanne made me this and I've just altered it with a little koala and I've inked it, stenciled the envelope and added a collaged journal card into it. Little tuck spot Joanne made me as well that I've embellished. We have more modern maiden pages. This page I just got from Free Pick. It, I pay for a premium subscription to that site, typed in koala and found these cuties. So I printed them on tan copy paper, added an Indian ruffle, little collage pocket with a stamped bookmark. And that's where I left off. So we're going to pick up here. This is the back page. Um, it's a jelly print where the brayer, the roller went over it. I think the other side we'll see probably has some kind of design, but this is just paint. Uh, messy paint. And so I thought that I like it. I love just having mixed media grunge on whatever I do. So I really don't have a specific plan. We're just going to play. If we don't finish the video on or the journal on screen, that's okay. I'll finish it off screen. And by the time you see this, the journal will be listed. So even if we don't get the whole thing decorated in this video, it will be listed and you can um, purchase it if you want. I was digging in a bag of supplies that Joanne sent me, and this is a little envelope pouch. I was thinking of maybe putting it up here and then tucking in a journal card. And if I use my circle punch, I have a one and a half inch circle punch and make a little notch that will tell me or remind me that I have a tuck spot behind it as well. I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue, which is my new favorite. I am obsessed with this stuff. I never thought, you know, everybody um, crooned about Fabri-Tac, and it's okay, but I just figured that Art Glitter Glue would also only be okay, but it is amazing. It is my favorite glue now. So I'm going to just put that down, glue it there, and now we're going to figure out some journal cards. This will be fun. I have little ephemera pouches and packets galore by me. Some of you make them for me, some of them I find, and so I'm just going to look through here. Uh, let's see, oh, a little what's cooking fruit salad. It's a little old, that would be really cute in the green. Okay, and then something to tuck behind it. Ooh, here's some pretty, let's see, sweet pea moonflower. I love that moonflower. Trying to add florals in here. I really think that goes with the aesthetic. This is actually a vintage seed packet. 
I don't know if I fold that down, maybe it will slip. There we go. And then this will probably slip in here. This is just my raw, unedited, how I actually work. So, uh, it's not, no perfection here. No perfection. I love that. So fun. Maybe something on here. Hmm. Washi tape. Yeah. Some postage. Oh, postage was can't talk. Washi tape. Well, okay. Just a little more interest. Love that. Okay. Flip the page. Definitely need to do something here. Make a little tuck spot out of this. I'm going to stitch. I have a sewing machine to the left of me. You can't see it. You will probably hear it, but I'm just going to add a stitch around the edge. This was torn off paper from a piece of scrapbook paper that I used on the cover. So it coordinates with that, which is why I'm choosing it. I'm trying to use up the scrap instead of stashing it. I like to stitch first and glue on top of the stitching. I don't like um, sewing onto the pages. It's just not my style. All right, so we're gonna need to tuck something into that. And I'm thinking maybe some of these, these are from Vintage Image Club and they're Australian animals. These are John Gold's Australian animals. I think there's two or three, two pages of them. Um, and I thought it would be super cute to have some like koalas, koala friends. So I'm thinking of calling this junk journal koala and friends just to add some other Australian animals. If you have not joined vintage image club, I counted last week and I have 250 folders full of images and easy print sheets on there, all uh, public domain or, um, you can use for digitals, like public domain royalty free, So you can use for digitals, handmade journals. I've made sure that it's okay to use them, so you do not have to worry about it. When I printed these ephemera, my printer, I mean, they printed nicely. There's a little bit of a faint line that probably you cannot even see on the video, but what I'm going to do to make that less noticeable is I'm going to stencil over it because I am not throwing away these just because they're not as crisp as I want them to be. I'm gonna round the corners because I feel like it. Uh, yeah, we probably won't get this whole thing decorated. We might, who knows? I'd like to do 20 to 30 minute video and not go too much longer than that, but we will see. Just have a good play. Okay, now um, I just have a scrap piece of paper here that I've been using to protect my workspace. And I've been using the Tim Holtz stencil, um, this floral one. I'm just gonna try to do more than one at a time, but that might not work. I have just a little makeup brush. This was a Dollar Tree one. Oh, I got hot glue on it. And I am using Colorbox Archival Dye Ink. This is in the toasted apricot color. So that's what I've been using for this journal. And I'm just going to ink over the whole thing through the stencil. It just gives a light floral look to it. And it makes the line, the light line through it that my printer left less visible. So if you get prints or print things that have a little bit of a line, trying something like this, kind of takes your attention away from that and adds something really cool as far as texture or layering. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the same ink that I've been using and flick it onto the edges. them in here. 
That's really cute. I love how that turned out. I'm going to leave this page blank. This is from Modern Maiden as well. And this is a silver dyed page. I really don't know how well the video picks it up, but I used a silver ink pad that was almost out of ink to dye this and it has silver. I can see it in person, but I don't know that I want to do much to this spread because it looks really, really good. We're going to need some blank pages too. So maybe we will just flip what I did. And I'm so happy it worked is I took the silver dyed paper. You can see it better on this side. And I printed this adorable koala on it. I got this from creativefabrica.com and it's just a clip art. I printed it on there and it's so cute. So I think we'll do something on this page, but leave this one alone because it is absolutely adorable. I have some fabric strips left. Maybe we will make, ooh, a belly band. All right, I think we will do that. I'm gonna start, just rip a strip off there. And rip a strip off on the other side, give it a little bit of fray and texture. Well, I can't grab a hold of that. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. I want that frayed texture just because I think it looks cool. I'm going to eyeball cutting it to the right length. Come on. There we go. I'm going to stitch the top and the bottom just so it looks a little cooler, nicer. That's not necessary. I just felt like it. And then this is the, well, that didn't work so well. Sometimes my ideas work and sometimes they don't. Got caught up on the needle. It still worked. Okay. Um, this is the same fabric I lined the inside of the cover with. So it really coordinates. I'm just going to add some glue over the stitching to the top and the bottom. I'm keeping all those extra threads just for something cool. That must be my word of the day. Cool. <laughs> I tend to overuse words when I'm doing a video. All right. So there's a belly band right there and we can tuck something behind it. I don't know what we're going to tuck behind it at this point. Let's see. What could we put in there? Here's another ephemera folder. This is one that Lonnie made me. It's so beautiful. Mm, will that fit? Maybe, maybe it does I'm gonna stick that time card in there. That's really cool. There we go. I said cool again. And let me see if I have another koala picture over here. I'm going to use my circle punch, punch out this weird looking koala's head. These vintage koalas are kind of weird looking. I'm going to glue it right there in the middle. There we go. Ooh, we have a blank white page. Let's do something about that. Since I have this stencil, I will just stencil some flowers on it. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And sometimes I like to just ink the edge of the page a little bit to make it look more complete. And I need a journal card or something. Hmm. I don't have too many koala ephemera pieces, so I'm going to have to be creative and use other things as well. I like that. Half a doily. Maybe grab some strips of scrapbook paper, make a cluster of something. There we go. Stitch that. I'm trying to use up scraps. It is an impossible task. Using my sewing machine. Let's 
you can make a little tuck spot. On this side, right there. And I'm not gonna actually tuck anything in here, but whoever gets this journal will be able to tuck. The beautiful lined page. This is hand dyed, the pink paper. So that's pretty. What do I want to do on this side? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> <coughs> well, 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 well. Okay, let's pull out some ephemera. Maybe Tammy will come to the rescue here. She has I have some beautiful clusters from Tammy. Ooh, I love that. Yep, she came to the rescue right away. I'm not over decorating the journal, just really cute little bits want to keep some of these pages pretty plain so somebody can actually write or add things to it or give it as a gift. Love that. Look at this paper. I also found that on free pick. So cute. And we have blank white again. I'm going to ink those edges and figure out what we want to do. I'm thinking maybe a fabric flip. Okay, I have some Indian fabric. I've got more of this floral fabric. So I want to go, I don't know which way I want to go. Oops. And then what else do I have near me? Okay, it's a little bit of lace. Just gonna layer up a few pieces here and stitch across that. And glue it in. Very delicate with that Indian fabric. It's not sorry. It's a um it's not silk. I think it's a polyester or something, but whoa, that is not sticking. I have to use my hot glue gun. go hot glue to the rescue that's a beautiful flip i feel like i need a little flower there that's pretty add a little splash of color what do i want to do over here this is i got this from oh i don't remember if it was Vicky or anyway, it's fireworks, angel pink, and it's like a shimmery sparkle spray. I finished it, but I love the little spray bottle and the color so much. I put a little bit of Lindy's magicals in it in the pink, the peony scarlet red from the Prairie wildflower collection, added some water and I'm just going to use it until the little spray bottle gives out. Because the it has such a perfect mist for what I'm doing. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. I need to dry that though. So we can keep working. It's got such a shimmery, magical quality to it. Well, because <laughs> it's using the Lindy's magicals, but just the look I want it. I really want the colors intense 
I don't want to remove too much of the color with a paper towel, so that's why I'm trying to dry most of it here. And then I think I'll take a little bit of this white lace, lay it over, pick up a little bit of the extra pink. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Flip the page. Now I still have the negative of this stencil. It's full of that spray. I do not want to waste it. And it is the perfect complement to this journal since it's the right colors and the right stencil. So I'm just pressing it down, lifting it up. And then we have another gorgeous page. Let's rescue this little koala here. Again, you can get this koala easy print sheet. They're all vintage koalas at my Creative Fabrica fans page. I will put a link in the description box so you can click on it and join the fun over there. I appreciate everybody who joins over there. It helps support me. It helps, it helps me be able to do these craft with me videos. I don't make the same amount of money, obviously, with a craft with me video because I'm not usually selling very much. So it helps just kind of support the channel. I think that's a blue paper clip. Clip it on there. All right. Oh, that's interesting. That pink bled through, but that just that's fine. Looks cool. Then I found this little little sweetie here, also from Prepick. Go with, go with your heart. I'm trying to use these up. I think they're Heidi Swap. And I'm just going to put that right there. Go with your heart. And I'm going to ink around the edge with the toasted apricot. Toasted, yeah, toasted apricot. Kind of pull in some of those same colors. There we go. Then we have a blank white page on this side. do I want to do on it? Let me see. How long have we been filming? 22 minutes. I think we'll do about another 10 minutes and then wherever we are, that is where we'll stop. Always looking through my different ephemera pouches. What do I have? I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh, those are pretty tags. Not what I'm looking for though. Well, well, well. What would go good? I have a ton in this. This is probably my main folder. Some pretty florals. Here's a yellow. Maybe make a tuck spot here. Oh, I can't do a straight line of glue. <laughs> That's pretty. And then of adventure awaits oh, down here at the bottom. What am I going to tuck in the tuck spot? Good question. Ah, okay. I've got some, pardon me if my head gets in the way. I have some different stenciled and inked pages here. Ooh. That's pretty. Love that. Some printed old music paper, some beautiful lined pages for writing. He's so cute. And back to needing to do something. If a page can stand on its own and you're not over embellishing the journal, then let it stand on its own. But when you have this and there's nothing to it, there's just some silver paper and a blank white page, we've got to do something. Well, I like that kangaroo. I kind of need a kangaroo, I think, for doing Australia. These are, again, Vintage Image Club. The folder is called John Gold's Australian Animals. 
So they're all alphabetically organized. So you would look under the J's to find it. I am going to stencil over it. Find a paper clip, gold paper clip. Hmm, do I want to do anything else on this page? I feel like it's really plain. Oh, I think I'll pull out a different stencil here. There we go. Add something interesting in the background. There we go. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. Oh dear, another blank white page. I am not a fan of blank white pages. <laughs> They take an extra level of creativity for sure. All right, what are we going to do? Pocket here at the bottom, maybe? Maybe, maybe? I don't know. Ah. Some ephemera left here from a Victoria Designs project. I spilled some coffee on it, but occupational hazard, and it works perfect for a junk journal. This is just a neutral colored notepad with some leaves. Really think that will work well. I'm gonna actually stitch here down the middle with a straight stitch. Ink it up. Oh, I really like that. I think I'm gonna mirror what I did on the other side with this stencil. Why not? Oh, perfect. Wow, more boringness. What are we going to do? Let's fix the boring. Maybe another cluster from Tammy. I don't want to overdo it, but I think two in the journal is probably fine. Ooh, I love the butterflies. Yeah. I think I'll make it a tuck spot while I'm at it. What to tuck in it, though, is another story entirely. Mm, this is the wallpaper that was on the front. Maybe we can do something with this. It's silver. I'm going to make a double tag, a luxury type tag. Look at how pretty that's going to be in there. There we go. All right, what are we doing now? I think I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Spray a bit of pink and maybe a little touch of green. This is Lucky Clover Reinker in some water from Tim Holtz. Okay, that is a wonderful background, but I need, I need something else. Maybe a little beetle. These are from Victoria Designs. This is just a cute little beetle. I'm not a bug fan, but I don't mind pretty beetles, butterflies, pretty caterpillars, dragonflies, ladybugs, bees. 
I just don't like the spiders and the creepy, creepy, creepy crawlers. Or here in um, Tennessee, we have ticks. Oh, those are awful. So awful. Just to make him crawling up there in the corner. Give him a little place to be. What are we going to do here? Well, I think we used a stencil last time. Keep that tradition going. Where did I put it, though? Hmm. There it is. Beautiful. Some of these I just want to keep for writing on. But if we have a blank page like that. Okay, we're at 30 minutes. Should we finish? I think we should just finish. Let it be a slightly longer video. Because I'm sure if you've stayed with me this long, you would like to see the end of it. <laughs> I think we can finish it um, in 10 minutes. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Sorry if it's not that exciting. This is just how I create. So one of the little Australian friends here. I'm just going to round one corner. Well, that didn't work. Try to round a corner, but not really working. Okay. Make a little tuck spot down here. I want some flowers peeking up from it. Everything is better with flowers, <laughs> at least in a junk journal. At least for me in a junk journal. So I think I just wanted to challenge myself with a different theme. It's been fun. I, I've enjoyed it. This is Happy Together. It's a little, like, mouse family. That's so cute. All right, what are we going to put in there? Well, now... There's another one of, ooh, these are inked and painted papers I did, but they make great journal cards if you finish them off. Ah, it's so pretty. Love that. I think we'll leave that. Maybe a little stamp. Hmm. Maybe not. What stamp would I want to use if I did use a stamp? I don't know. I didn't really pull that many stamps out for this. I think I used this floral one. It's pretty. I was doing yellow on the blossoms. And green this shabby shutters distress marker for the leaves i think i got this stamp from vicky thank you vicky yeah that's perfect 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 definitely need something here what do we have i think have we used our old koalas up oh but i got a platypus he's cute use up that platypus. Whoop. Trim that down. Messily ink the edges and I'm going to paper clip it to the edge with a gold paper clip. Oh, I forgot the stenciling. Let's do that.
we are almost to the end. All right, get the platypuses on there. Oh, this was a jelly printed and I was trying to do um, some masking like these die cut leaves. Came out okay. I don't like the bright white. I'm gonna try something, it might not work. But if I spray this pink, well, that's the wrong direction. I'm thinking it's gonna cover, well, we need to get the end of that. Spray bottle doesn't work anymore. I knew that was gonna happen. Well, I love to play. So this is some water with a little bit of gold ink in it, but it's not much. And this spray bottle just is on his last leg. So let's play potions and dump the pink in with the gold. And now we have a golden pink. Oh, wow. This is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Well, now this one's not working. These spray bottles do not last forever. That's for sure. Maybe I can put a different top in it. Let's see. This one's green. I don't want to put green in with it. Do I have another top? That one's blue. That one's... Oof. Well. I think it's, that's pretty good. Now what are we going to clip there? I think I'll pull out one of my little ephemera boxes. Oh, there's like a vintage number. I think these were from my porch prints. And then this was the other side to that cute little koala page. Oh, like a little tab. There you go. A little inked and textured heart. And we're going to make that like a little tab. Grab my blue staples. Let's see if I can do this. There we go right in there stencil in here oh that's so cute it says hi koala wow that's bright we're almost done I would like to add all of these Australian friends. We'll see. What are some of the strangest themes that you've done in a junk journal? I would love to hear. I know koala is not that strange. Um, it might be different, but it's not that strange. Just love to hear what you've worked on that hasn't been normal. You know, we all do bee journals and dragonfly journals and uh, floral journals and vintage people journals. But what's something that you've done that you haven't seen before? And do you like doing new things or do you prefer doing the same themes over and over again? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say on that. Blank page. Well, I am knocking everything over. I'm closing in on myself with all of my glues and inks and papers. All right, what am I going to do on this blank page? And hopefully, yeah, the video's still going. We have just a, probably a couple minutes left here. We will move it along. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's an inked one I did. All right, what happens if I tear that shape? Oh, I love that. And then I'm going to ink that shape. And then I'm going to make a pocket. Right 
there. I love that tall pocket. It's something different. What am I going to put in it, though? That's a whole nother story. Ooh. This is a pink dyed paper. It has some stamping and it's double. The only thing I want to change about it is give it, I don't know, something at the top. Like I feel here it needs a little cluster or something. Let's go back to Tammy's clusters, right? So it fits our, oh, is he a little, oh my goodness. I don't know if he's Australian or not. He can still be a friend, right? Probably Australian. Just add that right there. Oh no, bonjour, hello. Pretty sure they don't say that in Australia. It's okay, it's all right. It's still cute. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's a junk journal. French speaking Australian. <laughs> Here's the back. Do I want to leave? I think I'm just going to leave the fabric like that. Just peeking through my. Oh, we still have these. There's another koala. Do I want that koala in the back? Maybe. I think I do. One last koala, and it's the end of the journal. So if you've enjoyed this at all, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. You'll subscribe if you have not. You'll check out my uh, Facebook page at Nevermore Creations Junk Journals and Friends, my Creative Fabrica page, uh, my Creative Fabrica fans page, and you will, did I say subscribe? I think I said subscribe and like this video. And I'm going to sign it. Ta da. Fun. Lots of fun. And it's so pretty. I love how it came out. So cute. I hope that you got some inspiration on doing a different type of journal, but one that you can still write a lot in and add a lot to. Thank you for crafting with me today, and I hope you will join me tomorrow for a supply day.